Hello, this is Yellow Hobo. Today we're looking at a uh, campaign, like episode three, I guess that's what it would be called here. Uh, we did one and two already, Hastings and York, we're doing the Bayou now. I think that's how you say that. I think the X is some silent, who knows. But anyways, it's in Normandy, William the Conqueror's son ignited a bitter feud over control of the Empire. William the Conqueror had recaptured York from the rebels. Now he wanted to teach them a lesson for defying him. He began a brutal campaign of destruction to crush any further resistance, known as the harrying of the North. Villages and crops were destroyed. It is said a hundred thousand people were killed. With ruthless efficiency, William the Conqueror had secured obedience in his new kingdom. But it wasn't to last. It would be thrown into chaos by his own children. When William the Conqueror died in 1087, his favorite son succeeded him. King William II, known as William Rufus. But 13 years into his reign, disaster struck while out hunting he was killed William's youngest brother took his place as King Henry the first but there was a problem at the time Henry's elder brother Robert Duke of Normandy had been on crusade when he returned, he was furious that Henry had grabbed the throne. From Normandy, Robert attempted to invade England to claim the crown from his brother. But he failed. And returned home. In retaliation, Henry struck back. In a reversal of 1066, he crossed the channel and invaded Normandy, intent on undermining his brother Robert's rule. His first target was Bayer. I was off. I was really this off. rich and splendid city was one of the jewels of Normandy. Henry was to begin his campaign by unleashing his forces on the city. Bayer was about to feel the wrath of the English army. So, uh, Bayer is how it sounds like it's being pronounced. I still could be Butruna, though. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, but. Ooh, Longbowman can deploy palings. Pellings to effectively guard against the cavalry. Hmm. Significant advantage. I do like that they included that in here. Stone walls cannot be breached without siege equipment. Cool. Alright, let's go ahead and see what's going on. In the brotherly feud over Normandy, King Henry I set out to make an example of Bayer, a town still loyal to his brother Duke Robert. Henry's archers took up position on high ground outside the city and faced an immediate attack by Robert's cavalry patrol. Having deployed their palings, Henry's archers were well protected against the cavalry charge. They defeated the first patrol. So that's pretty cool. Put them down quick. Oh, I could have just done like yeah, yeah, the whole yeah. unit. Okay. 
As Henry set his sights on burning Bayer, more reinforcements arrived to join his army. Take a tree, control group, huh? Babuga, Strel Doran. Yerwa, Garwigan. Readeras, Yerwa. Buse to Selvan. All right. I guess the objective here is to uh. Let me go scout out. Or are we fighting? Left click to attack move. Hey, how you attack me? Strail border! See that! Here! Strail border! Get one! You gotta do this. Strail border! On Ganga! On the Gehanda! Then left click on the ground near an enemy. Is that what it wants me to do, or is it want me to actually? You know, we'll just keep on. It'd be faster just to actually <laughs> use everything we got. I don't think I even need to engage over there. That is a lot of archers. The English approached Bayer and saw that its towering stone walls would not be breached by manpower alone. Henry would need siege equipment and a defensible location to construct it. And that's why we gotta go through there. Got it. No point in killing those little villagers. Or that. Quit archers. He shall lay the yaw and then take your servant. Call it quit. Fort Warde Brekes, Mit Baldeness, Sertas. Where'd the horses go? Got the king in there and everything. No, oh, raises all nearby armor. That's what I can see right there. So basically, raise our way. We got another tower over there, so we probably got more people to attack. Uh -uh. Go attack this thing. Actually attack them. That looks nice though, when they actually get a volley off. You ran the wrong way, horsey. So infantry does significantly more damage to towers and stuff. I guess we can just kill this thing real quick since we're right here. Hurry up. Oh, those archers are getting us too, huh? We lost one. Yeah. 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 
No, we can hit that one. Okay. Alright, just kill this little unit right here. I like the attack, man. I don't know what they were throwing fire at, but... Oh, we were about to tag you. Henry now called for the services of a blacksmith to bolster the siege effort. Freckles, meet Baldaness. All right. So I'm gonna say that we have everything we need, right? Right. So horses. Build the blacksmith. We're on it. That's an arsenal. That's a blacksmith. Wait for this person to get out of here, and then we'll. Why don't they go to cutting that, anyways? Why don't you go ahead and go over here, bud? Actually, we probably need you to build a mine right here. With a blacksmith on hand, Henry's infantry would soon be ready to construct siege equipment. Are we capped on 130? Aesthetic, you know. <clears throat> there are researching. Okay, no. I think they sped this up to yeah, one minute. Keep you out of range of that. Henry's infantry could now construct battering rams, siege weapons yes. designed to break open fortress walls. But do I need more infantry and stuff then? Probably. Uh, do we even have? I don't think so. We got a stable. <laughs> like, uh, that's all you need. Stable. There is the barracks. Get two barracks going right there. Really don't think we need any archers. Where is... I don't think we need arsenal either, right? No, it's just for technologies. Select infantry and build rams. Oh, they can build rams too, huh? Cut some wood real quick. Already built up the village, looking all nice and neat. Just slow going on the wood real quick. With the power of battering rams. 
the English army could crack open Bayer's mighty walls. It may. Probably should have built those uh those things. Henry repelled the attack, but he knew that so long as Bayer still stood, the city would not give up the fight. Alright. Next one's up. I don't know if we should be sending them all in or not, but should be a little bit better of a push on this one. Wish I could see how much health that thing has. There you go. Maybe we need to hit them with both. Bayer's walls had failed, and Henry's men could now storm the city. Robert's garrison made a last stand to defend Bayer, but Henry would show no mercy in cutting them down and burning their city. So we can just push in here. Oh, they can't shoot behind them, huh? There, do we just need to go over here? He shall lay the yard. You say it's number ten. On the year one. Oh, we just need to beat the defenders and destroy buildings, huh? Back up, back up, back up, back up. See why we needed all these siege rams now. That thing is far reaching, ain't it? That 
thing shoots so fast. He's just over here murking people by himself. Destroyed it? We're gonna destroy that thing. Guess we just had to keep on destroying buildings. The people fled in terror. King Henry basked in the victory over his brother Duke Robert. But Henry would not stop until all of Normandy was back under the English crown. Yep. So that's a uh, campaign three. wasn't too bad. Would have done some things different, but yeah. Anyways, hope everybody enjoyed the video, and I'll see you on the next one, everybody. Thank you. Goodbye.